what's going on guys tony here back with the video on my tesla like stereo that i got in my chevy cruise you can see how it looks in my chevy cruise it looks real nice it basically looks like it's a factory radio but it's not the chevy cruise 2012 does not come with any type of big display like this it just comes with a little one that goes up here and the reason why i put this radio in is because the original stock radio that comes with it does have bluetooth but for some strange reason, uh, the Bluetooth is not compatible to stream music. So that's crazy. And that's a major issue that a lot of people with the 2012 uh, model or older have with these cars. Um, you don't have the ability to uh, pair it with your phone and stream the music over it. So that's why I got this radio. It was very cheap. I think it was like 130 bucks or something like that. I got it on ebay and it's pretty cool man it actually has a lot of functionality a lot of people commented on the video that i uploaded when i first installed it and uh, there's a lot of people with issues and you know they commented on my video and they want to find out how to do different things on here as far as changing the temperature changing the kilometers to miles and stuff like that so i'm gonna try to help as much as i could this radio like i said it does have uh, some features on here. We got the backup camera installed. Let's see if it'll come up. It does have one gig of RAM. So if you if you're on Amazon, I recommend you get the two gigs of RAM with um, the 32 gigs of storage. If they have more capacity, even better. But this is the unit that came with it. It comes with this bezel. The whole this is the whole radio. I mean, the radio is with the bezel. So when you put this in, it just blends in. Like it's a factory radio uh, also comes with a built-in microphone so the microphone that you normally use up here is no longer you use it here so it does come with that um it lines up real good i mean i've been using it for like three months this is my everyday car this is my work car i use this all the time even to make calls microphone it sounds good um when my wife calls me she can hear me nice and clear so it is pretty good i do use it with the iphone though i haven't paired it with the android and uh, here's the stuff that you get with it. You get a couple pre-installed apps. You get a YouTube. I believe all these are installed. And you even get the Play Store. Um, with one gig of RAM, you can use this phone. I mean, I keep saying phone. It's a tablet, but you, 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 can, you can use this to consume media if you want to use your mobile hotspot to pair it with. You can, you, you can do that. It does have Wi-Fi. Uh, I just have my Pixel 4 Bluetooth connection. And that's how I have it set. I just stream the music. Basically, that's what I do. Um, so it does have AM, FM radio. Um, it does have file manager, which is crazy. It also has a local music, which is what I have here. It starts playing automatically. Pause. Everything is touchscreen. It does work. And not only that, but it does work with um, my controller here. So I do got the controller here. You can, see, I can skip through the tracks and everything. It's skipping through the tracks right now. You can see it. So the steering wheel controls do work. Everything works great. And here, if you go here and I'll swipe over, you can see me skip through the tracks here a little bit better. You can see it. So it's pretty accurate, pretty sensitive. It works real good. Volume controls. Um, play pause all that good stuff but yeah that's what i use it for i like you know the ability of having the controls i wish my other car my my uh radio when the kia had that but it doesn't but yeah so i have let me go back and show you if i go back to the music i have tons of music in here local music tap here uh you can see i have over 2,000 songs, or it says total right there. Um, but it's not on It's not on this unit. I have it uh, connected down here, and I have a thumb drive, which I have right here. And it's plugged into the USB plug that comes with it. So this cable does, this plug does come with it. You just have to reroute it to wherever you want it. This is a 32 gigabyte um thumb drive that i have there and i got all the music on here and i could listen to just whatever i want to listen to you know what i'm saying so i got tons of 
music, tons of artists, everything. And it does play, it does work. Um, I got my favorites, or well, I have my favorites. I reset the, 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 I reset the radio a while back because um, I changed thumb drives. But um, yeah, that's that. This originally comes with uh, one gig of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. I'll show you that. Go into settings. And we'll go into Android settings here. And there's three different settings. I'll, I'll get to those in a second. Here is the capacity here. You can see storage. Um, I got my 32 gig card there, but you can see four gigabytes used internal 16 gigs. So 16 gigs of internal storage with one gig of RAM. That's the only downside and it's running Android 9.1. I haven't got an update. This nothing happens since I've gotten this, nothing happens. And here's about card information, uh, February security pass. So it did get an update. I just never noticed it, but it did. Um, yeah, and that's that. So here we go back to settings. Let me go back here and clear this out. And I'll show you how to get to the other settings where you can change um, kilometers to miles. And you can also uh, change the outside temperature. And this works for this. This really works. Turn my fan all the way up, turn it down. And I can even control the heat right here with this. You can see it. Once I turn it down, you can set it to whatever temperature you want. So 75, you could do 80. And this does work, but as far as anything up here touching, and none of this stuff works. It doesn't do anything. Um, you probably can set it up, I don't know. But I haven't, I haven't got that far yet. But yeah, this is how that works. So in order for you to change the uh, temperature to Fahrenheit, you need to go into apps, go into car settings, and no. This is to change the language. You can go all the way down to the, where am I? Oh yeah, to the language, you can tap there and you can change the language there. So if you happen to plug this in and it's in Chinese, I mean, everything up here will be in Chinese. All your information will be in Chinese. Everything that you see there will be written in Chinese. So this is where you change it and you hit it to English. So that's where you get the language selection changed and everything else I haven't tinkered with. But another one, you go into settings, here's the other settings. You got the car settings, you got Android settings, and then you got factory settings. So the Android settings basically does what it says all the android settings go back um the car settings basically what we just saw air conditioning settings um stuff like that but you can't really change the uh fahrenheit in here you have to go to the factory settings and once you get to the factory settings passcode is eight 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 okay and now that we uh, got the language out the way, you wanna go to protocol parameter settings. And in here, if you go all the way down, you'll, you'll be here. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll have the two settings that you're looking for. Temperature unit selecting. You tap on that, you got Fahrenheit, Celsius, you wanna tap Fahrenheit. And that will fix this right here and your temperature and all this good stuff that you got here, it'll switch it. And if you want, you go to the one above it, which is speed unit selector it's set to kilometers because it's in Chinese but you can set it to miles and you tap on it and that's that and your car should be miles per hour this should be working this does work the mileage does work uh, you'll have Fahrenheit and it'll be English so yeah if you want to change the time that when you have to go to the car settings this it'll take you it'll be like car settings no, it'll be here. We'll go here and we'll go to Android settings and in Android settings as it'll, it'll, you know how to do Android. You go to, where is it? I saw it. Um, here it is, system. 
and you'll do the time and all that crap but yeah it's pretty easy once you play with it for a little while you'll figure it out mine works great you can change the wallpaper with a long press and change the wallpaper got a few wallpapers on here uh, we'll go to the green one you got wallpapers you got a bunch here so you can these are the ones that are in 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 the car so you can i like that one i'll do that one select wallpaper and that's that easy as that this does go away you can stretch that out make it a full screen i can't get the bottom to disappear um you can swipe it down to get it back and if you swipe again you got screen off where if the radio is a little bit too bright you can turn that off and if you just tap it comes back um there is another way to change the brightness because the brightness definitely irritates me so here's the brightness you can set it i have mine set all the way down but it does get super bright super bright when you're driving in the morning this thing just depending on what wallpaper you have it'll blind you so i have mine turned all the way down but yeah that's the update on my um, chevy cruise uh, radio that it tesla like radio um, i love it it works great and gets the job done and gives me what i was missing which is that uh, bluetooth streaming music looks good in here too so yeah we out i'll catch you guys on another one hope i helped peace